We're a collective of disabled artists, of both disabled and non-disabled people. Creative Confidence Collective, and we're trying to change the blocks that we experience as disabled people to the arts. We don't want that to happen to the next generation. We set up Triple C to help people with disabilities access the arts. One of the projects that Triple C do is drama in education. So we run drama workshops in special educational needs schools. The drama workshops that Triple C run in SEN schools have had a huge impact on the young people that attend them. Their confidence has grown, their communication skills, their self-advocacy, and more than anything, they're having fun. It's really interesting when we are using drama in schools with young people with disabilities because you can sometimes within over a period, a very short period of time, you can see the difference in those people, how they suddenly start to self-advocate, communicate, um, discuss choices they've never identified before. Um, we can always see a massive change in their care support as they became, become more confident in participating in the drama on their own. Um, it's really exciting to see such massive journeys within young people in such a short space of time. Because that's the thing, with um, it's social learning theory really, if you're giving somebody an opportunity to believe in themselves, you are never going to take that belief away because they've been given that experience. And that's what the Triple C wants to grow, is do much more work in schools, um, in SEN schools. We want to develop a youth theatre for um, young people with disabilities, we want to do dance workshops. We want to grow and grow and use our artists from Dank to create an impact within the local communities for the next generation. How would it make you guys feel if you knew that maybe once a week you could have a drama session and have loads of fun doing drama? Gobsmack. 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 Disability should be represented on screen, on stage, on radio, in art galleries, in literature. We should be represented everywhere. We make up 19% of the population, that's over 13 million people. We're currently not represented on many of those mediums. So with our Disabled Artists Networking Community, we're going to work together, break down those barriers and make sure that disability is represented in the arts. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm so sorry, you're going to have to excuse uh, the chaos of this little addition to the video. It's just I wanted to explain more about the Disabled Artists Network community. We have had seven events so far. Uh, we started in January and we now have over 240 artists with disabilities signed up to our mailing list. Uh, we had our last event last week at the Bridgewater Hall and we had over 107 artists with disabilities sign up for it. We had three guest speakers come from London. We had the B head of BBC Drama North. We had uh, the casting director from the National Theatre who is setting up a disabled database. We had um, the producer of Casualty who wants to work further with employing even more actors with disabilities in their roles and actors with disabilities in roles that's nothing to do with the... Um, with the type of role. We've had from our Disabled Artists Networking community, uh, Russell T Davis has rewritten his next series to have one of his main characters to have a disability. Um, <clears throat> we have LA Productions have got uh, a character going in with a disability into their next series. That's Jimmy McGovern's production company. Uh, we have a deaf artist who's a visual artist who's had uh, an exhibition, been given an exhibition in an art gallery and he's been commissioned by a hotel to make Christmas cards for them and they're putting them in touch with marketing in Manchester. We've had so many success stories. We had three uh, wheelchair users on the last monologue slam. The theatre built a ramp to get them on stage. So we're just having a massive ripple across the arts and we're getting people work. But we're making those connections so we just need more help to be able to run and grow the organisation because it's grown really quickly because our ideas have been very successful because they're user-led by the disabled person. At the last Dank event, I performed the preview on my show for the Edinburgh Fringe. It's really hard for disabled artists with access needs to find places where we can do previews. One of our projects is here at the Bridgewater Hall in Manchester and this is the Manchester Community Mental Health Choir, Be Vocal. So we could carry on our work here. The choir meets every Wednesday and it is changing people's lives, helping them gain confidence 
and self-belief and self-worth. A lot of people weren't even leaving the house before our session started. And with your help, we'll be able to continue our work well into the future. Triple C here so to help the next generation develop all their art streams by creating confidence and being able to do anything they want to do in the arts. Triple C!